FATCA essentially is a colloquial reference for the Foreign, Foreign Accounts Tax Compliance Act. And the Foreign Accounts Tax Compliance Act is part of the Hiring Incentives to Restore Employment Act in the U.S. It was introduced on March 18, 2010. And the Hire Act, as it is called, made um, introduced a new Chapter 4 of the Internal Revenue Code, which really is requiring financial institutions around the world to enter into a, an agreement with the IRS and the Treasury, the United States tre Treasury, to identify, report on, and withhold against U.S. persons. U.S. persons is a specifically defined term, and it really includes persons who are U.S. citizens, who are born in the U.S., who have a green card, who have dual citizenship, and also persons who have spent about 183 days in the U.S. And Alison, you can explain to us in your expertise, what is the objective of this uh, legislation? The IRS is concerned that persons, U.S. persons, are evading tax. There is this overriding belief that Americans are putting money in offshore accounts and not reporting them properly to the U.S. government. You know, quite a few persons who are green card holders don't realize that they're supposed to file and pay U.S. tax even if they're in Jamaica. No, let's not even get into the immigration issues of whether you should be in Jamaica for your, your green card holder. But there is sometimes a disconnect between what you're supposed to tell the U.S. government, what you're supposed to pay tax on. The U.S. government is always looking for more money. They're always looking to get more money onshore into the U.S. So what they're trying to do is get the financial institutions around the world to report to them the information that they would like to collect on people who should be paying U.S. taxes. Now, what will be interesting is the difficulty that the financial institutions will have with their IT systems, their compliance systems, mm -hmm. their controls. Also, what if a financial institution decides in Jamaica, guess what, I'm not going to comply. I'm not going to give the IRS any of my depositors info. Also, you know, we had an interesting discussion with respect to the privacy laws, which I'm sure you can address in Jamaica. Can you give an investor's information to the IRS?